Hey, we're going to have some more fun with our painted tissue paper that we made in our class the other day. Today we're going to use it to make a clock. I got these clocks at Ikea for a buck. They are plastic, so the first thing we're going to have to do is give our clock a coat of plastic primer. And I'm using the Rust-Oleum plastic primer, and once you coat it down with that, everything will stick really nicely. I made myself a template using the top of the clock and then I used this template to cut out the center on the tissue paper that I wanted to use for this design. Next thing to do is tear up a bunch of strips that you'll be using to cover your project. In this case I'm going to go all the way around with these strips. I'll be using the Pearl X varnish but if you've got some gloss gel medium that will work. Uh, Mod Podge will work, whatever you've got. The one thing you want to be sure to do is go ahead and line up all the pieces that you're going to be adhering before you begin because once you start working with the Pearl X varnish or the Mod Podge, your fingers are going to be kind of sticky and you're not going to be able to design this very well. Get them ready and in my case I'm going to be using my fingers but you can use a brush. You're going to coat about the size of the strip with the varnish lay the strip down and then varnish over the strip. So you'll be using it as an adhesive underneath and as a top coat over the top. When you lay these strips down make sure that you tuck a nice size edge underneath because this way it won't start peeling up and get caught and tear. You want to make sure that you've got those edges tucked underneath. As far as the inside clock near the face where the tops of the other end of the strips are, we're going to be laying down a strip to cover those, so don't worry if they fall a little bit short on the inside of the clock. And you just continue strip by strip until you've got the entire clock covered. Now that my clock is covered, I'm going to work on that inside strip to make up for where these edges may not have been as even as I would have liked. I'm just going to coat that with varnish and again glue down that inside strip. Then I'll set this aside to dry. Once it's dry I can begin working with my centerpiece and putting on my numbers. This is the printed tissue that we worked with in class. So I'm going to go ahead and cut tiny slots into the center of my paper so that I can move this around where I need it to be to be even and cover the center. And then I'll just flip one side back, put the varnish on underneath, again using it as an adhesive. And then when I put my paper down, I will coat it on the top with more varnish as a sealant. I'll do both sides of the clock this way. And then I'll set it aside to dry so that I can start working with my numbers. It's dry and I'm ready to cut out my numbers. Now I could have done all of the numbers but I decided I just wanted 12, 3, 6, and 9. I'm going to work with a tweezer because my fingers get kind of sticky so I'll just put a little varnish down, set my number down, and coat it with varnish. I'll do this for all four numbers. Then I'll pop the hands back in, put a battery in, and there is the clock. I wish you could see this in real life. It's absolutely stunning. It looks like glass. It's beautiful. It's time to go put this into the garden. Here we are in my backyard and I'm filming this from where we have our barbecues. I had so much fun making that clock I went ahead and made another one for my studio. You gals know that Play Hard is the theme in this studio. Here's the plaster dress we made last week with the Play Hard theme and now the clock to match. Go have some fun with your tissue paper.